Hi, it's John. It's the 9th of May 2014 and I'm at Lidlinch Common. As you can see, it's just a strip of land at Lidlinch, about four miles from Sturminster Newton, along the side of the road. And there's um, this common land, it's both sides of the road, in a sort of nature reserve. And they put a few cattle on here, um, but it's mainly left wild. The hawthorn blossom is now coming out. Um, fantastic, fantastic smell. Not quite as nice as the may blossom, which is more red. But uh, still very evocative. Lots of crab apple trees up here. Big red crab apples. Bitter as hell. Cattle eat them though. Now I think this little plant is called a judica or ju a juda a juda, something like that. I bought one at the uh, Sturminster Newton uh, plant sale last weekend. But this is the wild version. It's a few about. I saw one at uh, the Dorset Show Gap, didn't I? The orange tip butterfly. They lay their eggs on those uh, like uh, cuckoo spit flowers. I feel very lucky to get get some pictures of orange tip butterflies or any sort of wildlife. It's very difficult. That's a nice idea, they've stacked a whole load of wood around the base there. Now that'd be very good for wildlife to hibernate in there. Because this land is managed, it's ma a managed nature reserve and they do quite a lot of clearing. Because if you left a, a piece of land like this, it wouldn't be very long before it was just thickly covered with blackthorn and um, or, or, or like this in here um, and, and then there wouldn't be any grassland and, or, or anything for wildflowers so they they do quite a lot of clearing some wildlife body who looks after this some good souls now ah, the sun's coming out now I'm on my way back now. It's only a small site and obviously it's got this road running through it. I really enjoyed it though. I'm on I'm on my way back to the car now. Um 
it, but this is just coming into the nature reserve from the Lidlinch side and uh, there's an elm tree here it looks quite well um, whether it's a special one which is immune to Dutch elm disease but uh, it's growing quite nicely and um, behind it is a big uh, pussy willow tree or is it called sallow sallow willow and that's sort of leaning up against it but it'd be nice if uh, the elms did come back to England they used to make coffins out of them I think I mean the wood wasn't much good but they were very noble trees and also they used to fall on people that's not a good point but the boughs used to fall without um, warning and quite a number of people were killed by elm trees but if you take old-fashioned paintings by people like Constable and uh, Royland Hilda, those sorts of people the English landscape is very much determined by elm trees in a way that uh, now, now most of, most of the landscape, or most of this area anyway, is generally tends to be um, oaks and ashes on on the fields, and then beeches, skylark. I think it was a skylark anyway. I'm back to the car. Always a relief to see the car. Nice to go out into the nature reserve and nice to get back. Anyway, thanks for watching. Right, bye for now.